about, I wasn't talking about, I don't know anything about this university, I know all about universities all over my country. But those are the tough issues. Take it on the fossil fuel industry. And telling them that their short-term profits are not more important than the future of our planet. Way back in 1944, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, one of our great presidents, gave a State of the Union speech, which historically has received relatively little attention. And in that speech, he introduced a new concept to American politics, a very radical concept indeed. And what he said in so many words, he said, look, we in the United States have a great constitution, and we do, and we are very proud of that. And we have a great Bill of Rights, which says that you have freedom of speech, you have freedom of religion, you have freedom of assembly, that newspapers have a right to publish anything they want to publish. Of course, we are getting, trying to get Donald Trump to read the Constitution of the United States. Said, and all of that is very, very important. But then he said something else. And he said that we have come to a clear realization of the fact that true individual freedom cannot exist without economic security and independence. And he continued, he said, among these economic rights are the right to adequate medical care and the opportunity to achieve and enjoy good health, the right to adequate protection from the economic fears of old age, sickness, accident, and unemployment, the right to a good education. All of these rights spell security, end of quote. What was he talking about? What he was saying is, of course, all of us believe in the right of freedom of speech, the right to vote for the candidate you want to vote for, the right to publish what you want to publish. That's inherent in all of our democratic societies. But he asked the question, how free are you if you are 70 years of age in the United States of America and you cannot afford the prescription drugs you need to stay alive? free are you if you're a single mom trying to raise your kid with dignity and you're making 11 bucks an hour? How free are you if you're one of the 28 million Americans who cannot afford to go to the doctor when you get sick because you have no health insurance? And that is a very important debate that we need to have. What does freedom mean? And to my mind, when we talk about human freedom, it's not just the right to vote, but it is the right to live in security and dignity with a decent job, decent educational opportunities, health care is a right, and live in an environment which is clean, and which is not being destroyed by climate change. In the United States, 21 years after Roosevelt gave his speech, Lyndon Johnson won a landslide victory in 1964 after President Kennedy, of course, was assassinated. And in 1965, Johnson signed legislation creating what we call Medicare, which is a public health insurance program for people 65 or older. And at the same time, he signed a program called Medicaid, which provides health care to lower income people. And what is very interesting when we think about the debate going on 
all over the world in terms of austerity efforts, etc., is that the national health system in the UK, your Canadian health care system, our Medicare system, remain extremely popular today. People understand a good thing when they have it. In 19, in the 2004, as I think all of you know, a poll conducted by the CBC named Tommy Douglas the greatest Canadian. Now I want to take you into what is going on politically in America. Do it.